we're putting back to the episode last day on our survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen guys i hope you have a fantastic day of the most amazing variety i know i am because uh, go ahead and take a look at this what you guys are seeing right here right now was posted earlier today by kafir and this appears to be the final trailer for the train station clan base update now why do i say that well because usually it, it, it literally has the little part at the end saying coming soon and it's a little bit of a flyby showing off a lot of portions of the base and there's actually a couple of hidden things you might not notice that we're gonna be breaking down so we're gonna be breaking this down seeing what we can't decipher and take out of it and of course let's start off and begin by saying that from everything that kafir has been doing as of late they have been pretty much non-stop been teasing this we have not seen any gas station teases in quite a while whereas the train station over here has been getting quite a little bit of teases here we have a very finished look at it and of course the fact that this is kind of like that finale trailer this is what pretty much comes out every single time right before an update is out so it not just does point towards this being the very next update towards update 1.10.2 but it also means that that update is very very close and it might be coinciding with a beautiful little thing ending this week the halloween update which should be coming to a conclusion on november 10th and the end of the halloween update that seems like a relatively good time especially with what we know about the time frame from a couple of the context clues that kafir is giving us here there's some great signs pointing towards november 10th not just being the end of halloween but potentially the beginning of this train station and all that it has to offer so let's go ahead and with update 1.10.2 in mind and it's super close release and all my hype for it i can't wait to get the clan together and check out what the train station does offer let's go ahead and break things down and boom what you guys are seeing right here is actually the first thing that i feel like a lot of people may have initially missed during that initial flyby this is one of the first frames of the entire like little trailer flyby video look at that right hand side what you guys are seeing there appears to be some sort of excavator machine right by some sort of like rocked in walled in wall now i think that that might be something that we will literally be able to utilize for base expansions because from what we have seen of the train station at least from the initial sketches and whatnot it does appear that it isn't going to be the biggest thing but it did have a couple of corridors like that corridor we are seeing over by the right kind of like where that uh like where that rock is kind of like where that excavator type thing is a couple of corridors that didn't necessarily lead to anything uh, right away but i think this leaves room for future expansion I I think that this might be exactly how it works that we will be able to expand our train station slash clan base by digging and utilizing that excavator over there now what will that excavator require who knows maybe we'll be able to use it right away maybe it won't be functioning right away maybe we'll have to do some repairs to it and find something like a chopper gas tank like an atv transmission like that type of an item for example to see what we can't get out of that but nonetheless definitely something that i wanted to point out because that appears that that will be how we will be expanding our clan base and hopefully building out some new rooms and doing some very dope things over that way and then boom let's go ahead and break down a couple of more things this also does have quite a few things for us to take a look at number one is well the train and the fact that as we know the train is actually going to be like we are going to board the train and the train is how as a clan we will be doing co-op missions throughout areas of sector seven that's the latest info that we have in terms of how the train will be working but it does appear that it is blocked off initially so i don't like i think we're gonna need to go and clear that rubble in some way shape or form to be able to do that potentially we can't see it from a view here but maybe something similar to that excavator that we saw over in the first screenshot will be able to utilize it break down that scrap and hopefully clear the way for the train to make its way forward another thing to go ahead and take a look at is that giant terminal that unfortunately does appear to be quite broken that most likely will be how we are actually going to be able to select the destination of the train because we have to be able to board the train and everyone in the clan who decides to board the train they got to know what mission they're going on right so i think a common way a good way of making sure that everyone knows and actually being able to choose the mission is going to be that terminal so most likely that terminal will be utilized for actually being able to pick which co-op mission specifically we want to go to choosing the destination of the train and then once it is chosen displaying it since it is pretty freaking massive like 
like you'll be able to see what's on that terminal displaying which mission that the current train boarding is on and of course ultimately boarding on that train and making our way out and then we can also see everyone gathered around the finer gathered around the fire but that is a minor detail compared to some of the other dope stuff that we did get out of this so with that said and with that done i cannot wait to hear what y'all gotta say about this in that comment section down below whether that be your guys' thoughts on my thoughts your guys' original thoughts what you want to see available at the train station what you guys think especially i really 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 want to hear what you guys think of that of that excavator that we saw a little bit of a sneak peek of because that was like the only real piece of machinery that we saw through that entire trailer that was like doing i mean i, I don't know man besides like the train itself there wasn't really much other machinery just for the most part it appeared to be like a lot of rubbled in caved in areas obviously the broken terminal obviously the train itself and all that beauty but that excavator man that was seriously hidden away and kafir's done things like that before where they'll kind of like sneak in kind of like uh, sneak in looks in the future in the trailer and why do i say sneak in like but starts in the trailer but i mean that's such a small detail that is barely visible for a split second right as the video is starting to play that's something that a lot of people will miss and kafir likes to do that they like to sprinkle in bits of info about the future within hard to reach places and i think those couple of frames and especially since it's like tucked away in that very corner of the screen that ain't exactly the easiest thing to spot but luckily for y'all i got my eagle eye ready and rearing to go and we are going to be using that eagle eye for all the info coming out and of course not to mention when those updates come out themselves we're going to be checking them out all the way to their fullest extent so like i was saying go and let me know your guys' thoughts and comments and whatnot in that comment section down below regarding that i'm really looking forward to it not to mention that comment is going to put you one third of the way it's a wee twelve dollar I do such place store gift card giveaway all i gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will enter you in on today's video y'all go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and set we'll be with for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned especially because tomorrow is saturday so we are going to be announcing the winners of this past week feel free to go and enter in on older videos and of course make sure you guys are staying tuned not just for those brand new uh not brand new not just for the winners being announced tomorrow but also for the brand new weekly giveaway kicking off where y'all can enter in on all dumb videos so like i was saying make sure you guys do that have that notification bell hit so you don't miss any of your opportunities to go ahead and enter in on those videos especially since you're already subscribed not to mention that that notification bell is gonna be a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information that we got to share all the information coming out all the breakdowns everything we're going to be able to share about it not to mention as soon as those updates come out we're going to be all over them we're going to be showing off anything and everything and hello we got a cheeky little base today as well that they have to offer and there's some very juicy ones cooking up like this train station coming our way at update 1.10.2 along with a wonderful little thing known as uh i don't know man that excavator i'm telling you i think we might be able to do something cheeky with that only time will tell only time will tell but that gas uh, not the gas station the gas station's coming soon, but, uh, whatchamacallit, the gas station's gonna be coming soon. I'm guessing since that was originally supposed to be before the clan base on the roadmap so far, though, like, all signs, like, all signs are pointing towards the clan base train station coming first. Potentially, just had to, like, reshuffle that a little bit. That sometimes does happen with single-player and multiplayer stuff because there's multiplayer teams working. Ooh, we got three scrap over there. Because there's a different multiplayer team working on it versus, like, the, like the single-player stuff and the multiplayer stuff of Last Down Earth is worked on by, like, completely separate people, so some might be ahead of time, some might be behind time, so you might be like it, it's not, it doesn't line up with the roadmap but all signs are pointing towards that being exactly the way that it is going to go down and uh, i can't wait for it to go down and i'm trying to figure out what's the best way to break into this space because i'm not seeing like these corner rooms don't appear to have a lot of loot i'm not like seeing any chests sticking out i do see kind of like that central little stone wall area over there and ooh, i do see a chest over there Hmm. Oh, hold up, hold up. We gotta go ahead and pee a little bit. Let's do that. But yeah, man, I know it doesn't line up perfectly with the roadmap, but oh, is my guy just gonna keep on peeing here? You good? Okay, I was about to say that bar like to was, wasn't was filled up anymore, so he should he should have stopped peeing at some point. But by the looks of it, I'm seeing like this window over here. This is looking rather promising, yeah. so why don't we ow, try and toss this bad boy over here, make ourselves a little yeah. bit of a splash, a little bit of a boom, and off to sane to you. And hello, 
we got some fast biters over here that we should be able to deal with rather nicely. I'm not even going to be using my own weapons. Instead, we should just be able to, as long as we don't accidentally stab ourselves to death, run around this base a little bit. And I actually think we may have encountered this base in the past because I feel like I know exactly how it works. I think his base is like split up into quadrants, if that makes sense, because he has like that quadrant there. He has like a stone hallway smack dab in the middle, kind of like a giant plus sign throughout his base hello game do not lag now game do not lag now i am dangerously close to spikes oh mama okay i was getting a little bit risque and this guy he should be eh. i'm just gonna let him finish himself off there you do your thing floater bloater 10 health away goodbye off of each saying to you but i know it doesn't line up perfectly with the roadmap but we have had instances of that happen where the, ro the roadmap's just a rough idea at the end of the day and let's freaking go we're getting an electronic circuit and an engine part but at the end of the day the roadmap is just a rough idea of the things that they are working on to come in a general order but especially when it comes to single player and multiplayer stuff let's freaking go that stuff can come out of order and i like the stuff that's coming into my backpack in exactly the order that it's coming this is a uh, pretty good order, if I say so myself. I think we may have come across a pretty nifty hacker's base. Stop! Why do you say he is hacker? Well, uh, that's not allowed. That's got to be on a stone floor. That's got to be on a floor. Already two not allowed things. I I I'm pretty sure you can put some crops on the ground. That's definitely allowed. That is also allowed. But then we make our... Okay, that's allowed too. There's a couple other things that stood out that just aren't allowed. And I think it was actually... This thing over here? Yeah, check it out. He's got a wood workbench on that. That's not allowed. You got to put your wood workbench on a floor, too. So it does appear we are dealing with a hacker. And so far, he's got some decent stuff. I will say that. So thank you, Mr. Hacker. I don't like what I'm seeing here. This makes me sad camper. Empty chest. Potentially, that was filled with some of his hacked-in items. Because if a hacker does have items, if they are hacked in, they will not appear during raids. Because the game can tell the difference between hacked items and non-hacked items. Let's go and see what these other two chests chests have in store for us and we're about to have to deal with yeah we gotta deal with these dudes over here so let's go and do some loop de loop sand pull and your shoes are looking good do do okay and checking out all these zombies are taking care of themselves and hello flota blota how do you do oh mama oh mama we're gonna get split off we're getting schnicky dicky attacked by the alls of them let's go and use a little bit of medkits there and then let's get them back over here into the circle of death it's more of a rectangle, but let's pretend it's a circle because circles are cool. I'm not saying rectangles ain't cool. If you're a rectangle, god dang it, be a rectangle and be proud. But I'm just saying circles, man, they're just so circular. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, truly. Although rectangles, they are very rectangular. I must give that to them. And come on, fluta, bluta. Oh, no, oh, no, game. Please do not do this. Do not do this game. Why? Dude, I don't know what has been going on. Okay, we good? I think we good. All right, I was getting a little bit worried about that. It's a game. It just wants to betray me. It always lags in dangerous situations. Oh, what is that? You are by many spikes, Papa Star. Please, let me uh, do a little bit laggy lag. What is worse that can happen? Yeah, I don't know, but <laughs> I've seen some bad things go down, so I'm not trying to push it to the limit. And let's freaking go. A mini gun on top of it all. Oh, today's a good day. We're bringing our skulls up to two skulls of raiding. I guess I'll take a single red ticket. I guess I'll pick these up for now unless there's something better. Might as well grab the gas mask. Oh, mama. And then I'm I'm going to be tempted to break into another section of his, uh, whatchamacall, another. Ooh, we got one of these. We got one of these. The things, they continue being very good. Just like that. Oh, mama. Not like this. Not like this. This is not what is good. Hello, game. Please stop. It's like, you know what else the game's trying to finesse me into doing? I think the game's trying to lag me into walking out of bounds. Because if you walk out of bounds once a raid started, if you walk back into bounds, you will make a lot of noise. Making noise is not good. Let me just say, putting this stuff away, on the other hand, that is very, very good. God dang it. Okay, hold on. My mouse is being a little bit laggy here. Oh, mama. Why do you do this? Oh, hold on. I think we're going to get a little bit hungry. Let's get some of the food in the belly. And we're looking nice and Gucci on that part as well let's put those away and boys and girls while i am very tempted to continue using some c4 on this lad's base i did a little bit more research into the base and it does appear that i think the rest of the rooms aren't really filled with anything i do believe we broke into the main chest room which honestly lines up perfectly with what we got given the fact we have a mini gun different types of aluminum we had all of his tickets stashed into there his bunker zulu card amongst many other beautiful things and uh 
yeah so i think we'll just go ahead and fill up the rest of our inventory with that and then probably go on another little adventure i'm thinking maybe head over to the farm or do something maybe some events will pop up listen i ain't done with last day quite yet i want to get some more loot up in my belly and uh well that is going to be happening speaking of belly i'll go ahead and get that jakey up in my belly as well and i am on the hunt for paint so i think this guy had some paint over here he really didn't have much else like uh, actually, ooh, hold on. Five of those, definitely, senor. I will grab. I will grab. Did I see phones? I'll take that, too. Actually, that'll be really good. The Raiders really like air filters. At least last I checked, they're in love with the dang things. So that won't be too shabby of a thing. I will swoop on up those nails. Yeah, so I'm pretty good with everything else. We haven't had to use a connecting rod in a hot minute ever since we built that uh, acid bath. And I have so many of them back at home. But uh, if you guys don't have that yet, make sure you are collecting connecting rods specifically for uh, the acid bath. That is where they are bay. And once you can start acid bathing some chests, you will start getting some very good stuff from the floppy disks. But with that said, with that done, there we have a haul for the lad known as Raz Van. Actually, mm, mm. Hold on. If I can run back in and just really quickly, I'm going to see what his wooden workbench has since I don't think I was able to double check on that. Hopefully, if I make more noise, like, I don't really want to deal. Actually, I could deal with another wave of zombies. We'll just do a loop to loop. I was going to say I don't want to waste any weapon durability. But this is what I'm talking about. We come back in. Look at how much noise we've made, man. That ain't right. But let's go and see what we got within this bad boy. Anything good? Anything good? No, 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 no. Ow! freaking hit me a little bit that's gonna that's gonna be some valuable durability out of my witch's hat all right i'm trying to keep it in pristine condition for well another day before the halloween event ends and it's probably gone forever and i cry many freaking tears and where are all the events okay we are at like 74 energy why don't we run over to the motel really quickly clear the area out a little bit we do have some extra hatchets after all and that's the that that's the one nifty thing about the motel if you guys are ever done with the raid you have extra hatchets make your way to the motel or to the farm the farm also does have some hatchet worthy areas but i mean the motel we should be able to cruise through this bad boy super easily and look at that beautiful little road that we are seeing there but we should be able to cruise through this relatively easy peasy and take a couple of the zombies out since there ain't the strong ones and the lion lads, these are the weak ones. Go ahead, pop open the motel. Pop open some shots at the Roman zombies. And uh, worst case, here's what we're going to do. I think because the motel respawns every, what, day and a half. Might as well clear it out now when it's on the way. And then we can just come back with a totally empty inventory. Like, not even weapons. We'll just come back with, like, butt naked even. Because if everyone's dead, we don't got to worry about fighting, right? So we got some weapons on hand. Let's be productive. We'll get the fight out of these zombies. Take them down. Maybe get some good stuff. And, of course, do my favorite part. Cause a very a big a boom. And what you know? Into the hallway we a go. Goodbye to you, Roman Zambies. Hello, would you like to wakey wakey? Eggs and the bakey, my friend. Oh, he wants the eggs and bakey. I'm going ham, eggs, and cheese omelet on that man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like the freaking Kool-Aid man. What do we got up in here? Got some, nothing too cool. Nothing. Oh, we got the room out back. Let's go and check that out. Let's also go and pump him full of some lead. He was pumped. Oh, he was one pumped chumped, baby. And uh, nothing too amazing there. I could use the band-aids to get ourselves back up to full. But yeah, man, that train station just showing a lot of really cool things in for real. I I don't know, man. It, it's gonna be cool because that excavator, like if that's if that's something we could use already. Oh man, if we could like excavate the subway because like it looks like the train's blocked right now So I'm not sure we're gonna be able to take it anywhere But if we could use that excavator break open that tunnel and actually be able to head to places That's gonna be a game changer and that's gonna be an even doper update But I don't know even if not man that excavator I seriously think hello It's gonna be able to unlock like bigger areas, you know like unlock additional rooms because it looked like those hallways led to other rooms that were probably just caved in by giant rocks and excavators break rocks so it's kind of like a match made in heaven and for more clan base and then we could actually do stuff with those different types of areas like ah it's just looking so freaking dope man i need it i need it i need it and as soon as i do get it no worries we're gonna be covering the bejesus out of it oh yeah and another reason for that notification bell it's a great way to stand up to date with all the other dope survival games we are checking out on the channel which is a uh, spoiler alert some very good ones and of course let's not forget oh my god flota blota you are looking Looking fabuloso. I love this shirt. I love what you've done with your outfit, man. 10 out of 10 
would compliment you again. Here's what I'm going to do really quickly as well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. What I want to do over here is go sneaky dicky like. And I think this is the weeper. Yeah. Hello, weeper. I have an X for the back of your head. Oh, mama. And then we just get out of range over there and finish it off. Easy to the peasy. I wish she actually dropped something decent, but we could pick up a couple of things along the way. And then let's toss those back over where they belong. We're going to have some areas to break into. I wish these bathrooms actually had a chance at having stuff because there's really no point to check those bathrooms. They're just bathrooms. I guess it's realistic. Like, people do need bathrooms and motel. Freaking motels. God dang it, man. I didn't think that was going to happen. I got suspiciously close and we were good. And then I got suspiciously closer. And we were not good anymore. But yeah, notification bell. Great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of all that jazz. All the survival games we're checking out. And of course, every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention, tomorrow, make sure to check back. We're announcing that winner and all that jazz. And let's go ahead and announce the winner of my uh, pistol bullet giveaway. And it's even, check this out, delivered. Freaking bullets with bullet speed. I am delivering this giveaway. I'm not talking about the gift card now. I'm talking about my bullet giveaway. Away. and the zombies i'm giving it out to every single one of them man everyone's a winner on this blessed day of my bullet giveaway and like i'm saying i am the fastest deliverer in the freaking west all right I, and I, I live in the midwest so that's when you know oh mama that's got to be fast if i could reach all the way to the true west and let's see if you got anything here but yeah i'm just i'm just trying to deliver a man i'm trying to make amazon proud with my delivery speed my delivery speed may be a little bit lethal, but let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about the speed itself. that That's the impressive part, you know? Oh, my God, game. Why do you do this? Hello? Hello? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. I don't know why it accidentally hits auto sometimes. That's the most bamboozling part. But, all right. We are good yet again. Let's continue making our way through some of these doorways. And... I've never had that happen where two different of those boarded up areas end up breaking open. Yet, here we go. There's a first time for everything. And I suppose so. That means let's act hatchet. I was about to call it an axe. An axe-itch. Axe-shit? Is that like a weird combination of those two words? Whatever I was about to call it. Yeah. We good. We got some hydration. We got some of that. And let's go and see what we got up in this drawer. Hopefully we get... Like, I found pistols and some magazines here before. So there's definitely good potential. And there's a lot of hydration. Like, the motel, seriously, like, if you're, if you're on the beginner side, this is probably one of the best locations you could go to. It could be cleared out with a relative, like, relative amount of ease. And some of the rewards you get, and even, uh, you can find, like, rocks and stones around the base that you could just use to, like, break down some of those, like, boarded up, uh, doors if they don't end up, uh, breaking, since it's only a chance that they break down. Like, check it out. Like, this one over here, it's probably not gonna break down. Hold on, I gotta shoot this zombie real quickly. Like, this one's probably not gonna... Jesus! Guys, I'm not gonna lie, before today, I've had, like, probably a max, a maximum of one break in any given motel run. I've never had three of the four boarded up doors actually break, so that's another thing. I might not even need hatchets to do it, but, I mean, most of the zombies, as you guys are seeing, there's only a couple of 80s, only a couple of 240 health zombies, including the Weeper, including the Fluta Blutas. It ain't too nutty. It's, it's pretty it's pretty reasonable, and some of the loot, you got some potential at getting some real good stuff. You guys are seeing all the meds we're over here and finding. I'm going to go ahead and pick those back up when we come back with that full inventory, and... That right there is what I'm talking about. You got a chance of finding some weapons here. I think you even have a chance of finding C4 from what some people were saying. Not sure if that's ever been confirmed, but I was hearing rumors of that. But this, this right here, you can also find magazines, which then get you a perks. And you can find magazines for some of the tougher ones. And maybe today we get ATV driver. We do not get ATV driver today. Make me sad camper. However... We are making our way up in the copper mine and hopefully making our way up in the AT. Do we we do need to get that ATV driver skill before the ATV uh, update. Which we probably got a little bit of time until that bad boy probably is not going to be until. I mean, let's be realistic. The last time they added in the zone, it was a big update. It went from one point. Uh, it went from one point five to one point six, right? It was one of those bigger ones. So it's probably if they're doing something like adding in a new vehicle and a new method of getting to an entirely new area of the map, that kind of lines up pretty nicely. And hello, airdrop. I'll make a pit stop off at you, but that kind of does line up pretty nicely. So I'd, I'd say signs are pointing towards the ATV swamp being 1.11 at the time being, unless 
Maybe that's what makes the game 2.0. Who knows? But it's probably going to continue being like 1.10, 1.11, 1.12. Maybe once there's true multiplayer, once the clan base is fleshed out and there's like clan PvP, I feel like that might be what gets last day on Earth towards version 2.0. Because that's the thing with these version numbers. Like kind of like the relative way that it works is that usually when it's like a minor version change, so for example, 1.9.6 becomes 1.9.7, it's usually a little bit minor. You know, you can add some pretty nifty stuff like a bunker floor or some stuff but usually hello we got some decent things here um i will i am sorry comrade charcoal i must leave you behind for machete two charcoal is nice but this machete is nicer but yeah, usually, like, that kind of, like, indicates something kind of smaller. Usually, the bigger stuff... Halloween was the exception. 1.10 was a little bit weird in that aspect. But usually, the bigger stuff is, like, uh, you know, 1.6. That was, like, the entire north being unlocked and bringing a chopper up there. 1.7, that was the entire... That was the rating system. That was the ability to rate other players. 1.8, the first edition of multiplayer. 1.9, weapon attachments. So, for the most part, like, what would it take to get 2.0 to happen? I, I genuinely think that that would have to to be something closer to uh like when multiplayer is fleshed out when there's like clan wars between clans when there's more stuff to do beyond sector seven definitely after the atv swamps in there because that's that's gonna be some more single player content i'm just so excited to see more single player content and multiplayer content come not to mention very soon how we will be getting our hands on that new multiplayer content in the form of the train stay a shun but with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day Honor Survival. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead and let me know in that comment section down below. And of course, let me know your guys' thoughts on the breakdown we did of the train station. That interesting excavator and the fact that 1.10.2 is looking very, very close. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Again, the Chopper Gas Tank and join the Chopper Squadron. Best of luck bringing your pup. Again, the true friend perk. Loving up your own perks and skills. Not to mention, find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best guns that you got and just weapons in general many weapons too best of luck building up your base going out on the dopest of raids defeating all the boss the game has to throw at you and getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely family fantastic time all throughout not to mention best of luck in that giveaway as well winners announced tomorrow brand new giveaway kicking off then as well so a great time it's a be subscribed that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to the next one see ya